leagues of Voltan plus House Van Saar divided by squats equals this video. Remainder 3. Hello friends, I'm Rob, this is Digital Wastrel, and in this video I'm going to kitbash this free Leagues of Voltan miniature uh, into a member of my Vansar gang. I was lucky enough to visit a Games Workshop store back when they were giving out the free Leagues of Voltan miniature a little while ago, and so in order to best capitalise on uh, the wave of excitement in the hobby community for the Return of Squats release, everyone was really excited about it, um, yeah, so I left it in my cupboard for like uh, two months and just had to think about what I was going to do with it. Uh, timely as ever. I knew I wanted to use this guy for Necromunda. Uh, Squat Bounty Hunter was my first thought, but then I got gripped with Vansar Fever and I decided to make him part of my gang. I really like the visual connections between Vansar and the Leagues. They both use tech from ancient STC devices which are designs from the Dark Age of Technology that are long since lost to the Imperium, and as a consequence they have a much sleeker sci-fi look than is typical for 40k. The free miniature has robo feet which is really cool. There's no head though, just a visor. The first thing I like to do is have a look through my bits collection and see if there's anything that jumps out at me, grabs my attention and uh, gives me some ideas. I was playing around with the other bionic bits and this space marine arm looked like it would fit. Heads are one of the most important features of a miniature, so I compared some Vansar heads to the Voltan body. They seemed a bit small, but the mask really ties the figure into the rest of the gang. Going back to marines, I found a respirator head and I tried it out. The scale seemed much better. The Vansar sprue has a loose mask attached to some pouches, so I trimmed that off with the idea of putting it on top of the marine head. Sticky tack is great for trying out bits combinations. I've also been using Necron bits recently and I had this head left over. This might work too. The next step was to do a mock assembly and see how each head would look. The first marine head was way too bulky, so I found a similar one with a slimmer neck. It looks pretty good in this shot, but in real life it fitted kind of awkwardly and didn't, didn't really work. It was around this time that my brain connected the Vansar grav cutters with the old squat hoverboarders. So I'd be using him as a Robo Neotech, which gave me direction for his equipment. At this point I let the bits uh, sit on my desk for a little while and uh, just let my brain think about which combination I liked the best. I went with a Necron head. My Van Saar gang are going to be outlaws, so they're going to be using all kinds of robots and automata, all kinds of kind of weird tech stuff like that. So yeah, maybe this guy is going to be like a squat ironkin that somehow found his way into the underhive, or maybe some kind of like ancient man of iron, you know, from the depths of time that the Vansar have had kept in the cupboard somewhere, that my gang has liberated and has, you know, set free to cause havoc in the underhive. Time for the arms. The bionic arm works. For the other side, I started with the base Voltan arm. I trimmed off the cuff. The rest of the bolter goes in my bits box. Maybe I'll make an org mech armed with a bolter, as the style of the gun kind of fits the house. Vansar hands were way too small. I found this add mech hand. I cut off the gun and put on a Vansar las pistol. I cut the plasma pistol off the other arm and uh, put, on, put on the end of a hand flamer. I also trimmed off the pistol grip from the holster on his waist, as he's already holding two pistols. The head got attached with some green stuff. I added some Vansar shoulders to tie in with the rest of the gang and we're almost done. I assembled the board as normal, but I left off the back pedal part. Here he is! It's not the most involved conversion, but I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. If you want to see him painted, hit subscribe and stick around, because I'll be doing a full gang showcase video soon. Maybe you'll also find out what this thing is. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.